Um, we're going to do a little bit of warm up, a little bit of breathing in the warm up. Um, we're going to run through more guard work. We are in our first week, or our second week of guard work, and we're going to be doing uh, one of my uh, more favorite sweeps, high percentage sweep, uh, and guard work is the spider guard. And for me, the spider guard is really, it's kind of the essence of jujitsu because you can do this on almost anyone of any size. Um, some moves are really only limited. Like if you're going to do a double leg takedown, you're not going to do it on someone that's 30, 40 pounds bigger than you. This type of move you can do on anybody. You can do it if you're a smaller girl, if you're a smaller guy against a larger opponent. And it's really about control. This, the second concept is controlling this person through a stronger part of your body on a weaker part of theirs. So using your legs against their arms. So I want to congratulate you guys for making it again. Another hour for yourselves. Good to see uh, the Akunos here, right? All right. And uh, John Leslie as well, Matt Brinsdell, Walter Brandt. Um, so let's start out. All right. Let's go out in this position right here, guys. Again, I want you guys to use this. So guys, if you're folding laundry, if you're married and you're folding laundry, thumbs up. Okay, that's the way to your wife's heart. All right. Um, so what I want you guys to do is practice on coming back onto your knees. All right, so your feet are going to be straight out, right? Not underneath you, right? Because if you're in a guard, you want your feet straight out. You don't want them underneath you where you're leaning forward. Straight out back, all right? You want your legs to be, instead of together, you want your legs to have a wide base, and you want your chin level. So if you're in someone's guard, this is a great way to have good posture. So what do you have? You have your feet straight. You have your back just a little bit back, just a little back from 90, and your chin, you want it looking in the third row of the gymnasium, all right? And you want your legs out, all right? So this is the posture that you want to be in when you're in the guard. So this is the posture you want to practice, put your little yoga mat out or do it on a carpet. If your knees hurt, then that means that you need to stretch them a little bit. And so you don't have to go all the way back. You can go here here, 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 till you get about here. And good posture. And we'll try, we can both do that over here. Marissa and I both do that here. And now what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna do a little breathing exercise from this. All right, so the breathing, it's called Buteco breathing. There's an institute in New York for this. And what it is, is you guys are gonna breathe in and you're gonna breathe out. And instead of doing a shortened breath, through your mouth, which kind of looks like this. You're gonna do a more lengthened breath through your nose, which kind of looks like this. One who breathes well is one who you can't tell breathes at all. It's like an ancient proverb, all right? So you're gonna lengthen the breath and you're gonna lengthen it so much that you're going to kind of not be able to, you're going to want to take a bigger breath. So you're going to slow it, slow it, slow it, slow it down. And we're going to do about four breaths this way. You're going to try to slow it down so much that the hairs in your nostrils, you kind of want to not ruffle them. All right, so let's go, let's go for three breaths, okay? Let's start. One, two, three, breathe in, nice and slow. Breathe out on your own if you're there already. How's your posture? Is your chin flat? Are your knees out? I want you to feel the colder air coming through your nose and feel the warmer air going out. I want you to try to bring the breath through your through your belly and your lower back. Not through your chest. Let's do three more.
Good. Okay. So by lengthening the amount of time that the air is in your nose, you're going to create more nitric oxide gas that will help your lungs assimilate your breath better. So that right there is what, the way I want you guys to try to breathe when you're in someone's guard. Very different than what most people do. In throughout the nose, good posture, very calm. Look for your openings. All right. So let's go on our back. Let's do a couple exercises now just to warm us up. I want you guys to come here. I want you to push with one foot. Come onto this right hip. Push with the other foot. Right. Left. All right. I want you pulling. I want you pulling here. Pull on one side as you push. So I'm going to straighten one leg out as you pull with the opposite leg. Straighten and pull. Straighten and pull. All right. I'll show it from this angle here. So we're going to straighten with this side and we're going to pull with this side. Straighten with this side, pull with this side. Left. Right, left, right. Yes. Can you try to do it a little higher? There you go. Good. Good. Breathing through the nose. Good. Nice, Tommy. That's it. Nice and slow, controlled. Good, John. All right, good, Brandon. Nice, Brandon Haas. All right. All right, let's move on to this next movement, okay? So this time, guys, we're going to start here. So I want you, we're going to start with the same little movement. We're going to do one, two, three, four. All right, and then I want you guys to end up with one straight and one bent. You're going to take this leg that's bent, you're going to put it on the mat, and I want you to lift up. One, two, three, four, five. Switch it. Other one. One, two, three. All right? So the lift is here, guys. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so let's see. You guys can do two sets of that. Marissa will do it. You guys can watch. Nice. Good job, Daniel. <laughs> Good guys. Okay. All right. Let's go on to the next piece here. Just a nice little warm up. Same thing. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna just come up. We're not gonna put it on the mat now. We're just coming up. One's gonna be bent. Up and down. Up and down. Up. We're going to do five. Then we're going to switch it. Up and down. Up and down. And five. All right. And I want to do three sets of those. All right. Five on each side. Yep. Back and forth. So remember, when you're doing this, one foot's going to be straight and the other foot's going to be bent. All guard work, guys. Good. Let's do another set. Get you guys warmed up.
Breathing through your nose. Try to lengthen your breath. Good, keep going guys, three sets. Nice, Matt. All right. Good, Brandon. Absolutely. Okay, guys. It's the last little piece here. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to fold one. We're going to bring it up. Okay. Bring it up, fold in, and come up and back. All right, we're gonna fold the other up, bring down, come up and back. Fold, so the side you fold is gonna come up and then it's gonna stay tucked and come down here. All right, let's get one on each side. We'll do five on each side. So it'll give us 10. Nose breathing, guys. All right, let's see it. Nice little exercises to warm up your body for this particular move we're doing today. Okay, guys, nice. All right, I'm going to show you one more piece. All right, I'm hanging out, I'm watching TV, I'm relaxing, right? Hey, what's up, guys? So, I actually got a little hook right here. What I want you guys to do is I want you to let's look at it from this angle here. You're relaxing right here. I want you guys to bring your butt back. All right, one, two, three, one, two, all right, we're gonna get to five. On five, we're gonna come in and up. All right, so we're gonna go one, we'll do five. At five, we're gonna go in and up. All right, and then we're gonna put it together. One and up. But I want you guys to do it. Make sure your elbow stays on here. So come back. Elbow is going to stay on here and you're going to come up. Okay. So back, elbow stays on and come up. Uh, this is all leading to something. A lot of little different movements. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's it. I got a little sweat going. Aaron, keep on the elbow as you come up. Keep on the elbow. Here, this is how you keep on the elbow, right here. Look, I'm on my elbow and my knee. All right, and then I come up. All right, nice guys. Okay, I'm gonna go into the teaching part, all right? I'm gonna show you guys a sweep I use a lot in competition, and especially if I'm with larger opponents or maybe even a stronger, faster opponent. All right, you got two concepts, using a stronger part of my body. Jeremy, Jeremy. Good to see you, Ron. Sorry. <laughs> Jeremy's here. <laughs> All right, so um, a, a stronger part of my body against a weaker part of theirs, as well as um, fighting from the bottom and staying calm. All right, so this is a scenario. 
kind of we've been working on this since our takedowns. I'm gonna get knocked down, right? And I use my guard to keep that person away. Now with the guard is you always want four points. You want four points of contact. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come on to here. All right, we're gonna get our four points of contact. We're gonna get two on the hip. And we're gonna two on the uh, so we have our open guard scenario. Now I'm gonna show the move fast twice. And then I'm gonna detail it, all right? So here it goes. All right, so from this angle here, knock down. All right, last time, we'll just show it from here. Okay, cool. You guys see that okay? All right. Okay, good. So let's break that piece down. First thing I get knocked down, I want to start gripping. All right. How do I grip? Let's take a look at the grip. So first thing is you want to take your thumb, put it on the inside, and turn it over. That'll give you that nice pull grip. All right, if you could take a look at that. The gi is actually turned over and I've got my fingers in there. All right. The second thing is your knuckles. You want to make sure you put your knuckles, let's say Mar Marissa was wearing a watch and the round part of, your, part of your watch is right here. I want my knuckles on the round part of that watch because that'll stop her from doing her defense, which is basically to come over the top. All right. So if I have my knuckles on the top part, she tries to come over the top. It's going to give me a couple more seconds to block that. So let's show it this way. So I've got thumb in, and I've got the turn, and I've got my knuckles on the wristwatch, and I'm blocking that. All right? You guys got that? Okay, cool. So, second point to understand whenever I'm in the guard, I don't want any hanging feet. Especially white belts and blue belts, they always like to put their feet here or just have it hanging on the side. Never want anything hanging. You want four points of contact the whole time. All right? Boom. All right, four points of contact. Tony, you can come over here if you want. Tony, if you want to watch, just go through the bathroom or walk on the mats. So, once I have my four points of contact, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to push and pull, right? I'm going to take one of my feet and I'm going to put it not on the shoulder. I'm going to start to turn this into my spider guard. I'm not going to put it on the shoulder. I'm going to put it on the bicep right where the bend happens. So that's going to be your strongest point here. You're going to start to push. And I'm going to pull with my wrist and push with my, with my foot. I don't want to extend it all the way straight. All right? I'm just going to get a little bit of, of extension, enough that I can bring it further or lesser. All right? And it's a little bit more of a pull than it is a push. This other is going to be right on the hip. And the important thing to remember here is I'm not pulling here. Look, I'm not pulling into the mat. I want you guys pulling. Take a look at what happens to Marissa's posture when I pull into the mat. It goes about here. Now take a look at Marissa's posture when I pull to my ear. You guys see the difference there? So and th th this is why I want you guys to learn the finer points of the move. I would rather you learn the finer points of one move than the small, like the, the bigger points of a bunch of moves. So. This wrist, this, this pull, is going to be not down to the mat. It's going to be to my ear. So it's like I want to bring my thumbnail to my ear. You notice that posture is very different now if I'm coming here? You guys see that? Thumbs up. Let's go from this way. So I got one here on the bicep, I got another on the hip, 
all right? And this is gonna be on the inside of the knee and not pulling to the mat, pulling to my ear, my elbow to my ear. Nice. So what I like, we can drill, if you have a partner, um, you're just gonna come to this movement and then I want you to come to neutral. Come to the other side and then come to neutral. Come to this side and come to neutral. Neutral will be here. All right, so if you're solo, this is kind of the drill we just did. If you're solo, you're gonna to come to neutral, you're gonna put one on the hip, all right, and you're gonna pull this to your ear. All right, you're gonna come back to neutral, all right, you're gonna put one on the bicep, this one's now gonna to pull to your ear. All right, as well as you can start to move a little bit onto your hip as well. So let's see that movement a couple times. It's the movement that we did in the morning. I mean, that's what we did in the beginning of this class. It's cool because you can see them. Yeah. No, that's good for like instruction. Good, Matt. Yeah. Elbow towards the ear or your thumb, the, 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 the finger now of your thumb towards your ear. Nice, John. Nice, Brendan. Slow, deep breath through your nose this whole time. Let's see it, Tommy. Nice. Good. Nice, Eduardo. Good. Nice chest, good pull on the arm. So Jess, that left, the, when you're on the uh, the left bicep, so if I'm on this bicep, all right, like you are, I want you on the left hip. That's it. Yep. Nice. Good. Okay, guys, let's move on to the next piece of this. So. Start from a neutral position. I'm gonna come in onto the bicep. All right, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull up. That person's gonna step forward now. All right, that's the first time I'm gonna make him step forward. I'm gonna give a little pull. See that step forward? Now from here, I'm gonna take this foot. I'm gonna take this foot that was on the hip. I'm gonna put it on the mat. And I'm now going to lower this. A lot of people make the mistake here is they straighten this thing. If I straighten this, I can't go anymore. So I'm going to lower this as I step. I'm going to lower it. And then I'm going to push forward. So lower, step lower, and push forward. So what's that going to do? Now she's going to be totally stepping forward. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my hands, and I'm not going to put them behind the knees. I'm not going to put them behind the ankle. I'm going to put those behind the back of the feet, all right? And it almost becomes a pick. So people make the mistake of putting it here, and they try to sweep, and then someone steps back. So where I want it is right near the bottom of the mat. Here, if they step back, they just fall. All right? So the moment he breaks, he breaks his back. It's a very beautiful thing. I'm going to let go here once I step. I'm going to come here, and I'm going to raise my hips up and come down. 
All right, let's step back a little bit so it's easy. Give you guys a little wider of a look. All right, so an initial pull, all right, on the mat, second pull. They're now over me. I'm gonna come down. No, I don't just push here, guys. I'm gonna raise my hips up. I'm gonna raise my hips up. And that'll knock that person down. All right. From here, I'm gonna scoot back. All right. Bring this foot away out of danger and come on the inside. And then I can come up to the technical stand up there. All right, I want to have you guys, if you're solo drilling on this, this is kind of what it looks like. If you're solo drilling, I'll just a little long. So if you're solo drilling, this is what it kind of looks like. Come back and forth. You're going to come onto the leg, come onto the hip. From here, you're going to come onto the mat. From here, you're going to come up. All right, you're going to come up. Make them step. And then you're going to come up, back. And up. Any All right, once again, solo drilling. All right, mess around a little bit, mess around. Come on the leg, come on the bicep, sorry. Come on the hip. Pull and make them step. Put it to the mat, make them step again. Come underneath. All right, now here's where the exercise we did before, I'm gonna come off the mat, come up. That's gonna sweep them. From here, I'm gonna keep this locked. I'm gonna move back to the hook for a heel hook, for, for an ankle lock. And then I'm gonna come up if I don't have the ankle lock. I know there's a lot there. Let's just try it one more time and then I'll, I'll detail it again for you guys. All right, so let's just try it and I'll detail it for you guys. I use it all the time, and if you train with me, you should know that you're because I don't even use break action. I use tucking the toe. So I'm expecting there any more questions to go in. Yeah. It's one word. It's just one word. No. So take that foot off the mat now, Matt. Matt Brenzel, take that foot off the mat. Yeah, and then come up. Nice, Matt. Now come to your side there, Matt, when you come up. Come to your side a little bit, Matt Brenzel, when you come up. Yeah, so you're, so when you, when you, when you come up, you're going to come up to your side. Let's see it, Chris. Eduardo, can you guys put the phone a little farther back so I can see you guys? Oh, there you go. Perfect. So, Daniel, you, I want you to step and pull. Step and pull. All right, that'll get a deep step. So, here we go. This is the key to the move, guys. I want you, I want you pulling once, but then I want you stepping and pulling. All right? So, stepping and pulling. All right? So, stepping and pulling. If you're alone, if you're doing it solo, all right? You're stepping and pulling. You're stepping and pulling. Stepping and pulling, and then to sweep, you're coming up and sweeping to the side. All right? Stepping and pulling. Coming up, sweeping to the side. So when you guys do your sweep, come, up, come out to the side. Grab the 
What happened to Jess, Aaron? She had a deal with the kids, put the kids to bed? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got that right, right? <laughs> Arun, all right. I know you couldn't make it at 5.30. I'm glad you're making it now. It's all right. I got you. Good. So more on the side, Aaron. Okay, guys, take a break from it. I want you to watch this. I'm going to detail the end of this for you guys a little bit. All right? So you guys got this nice. You got this nice. You got a good pull. You have a good second pull. All right, you guys are good here. Now you're pulling up. Now, what am I doing here? So I'm going to turn this around so you guys can see. I can't let this fall into that person ankle locking. So, so, as I come here, guys, to knock that person down, this is going to be an ankle lock for her. If I just stay here, Marissa can come right into her own ankle lock. All right? So, I need to pay attention where these two feet fall. And I want to show you where they fall. All right? So, this one is going to come up. If I had to fall here, I'm in trouble. I have the same thing she has. See that? So, I don't want it to fall there. I want it to fall here. So, as I come up, can you see where it's falling in between here? You guys see that? It falls in here. And this foot here, I'm going to pull out and get it underneath. So let me show what it looks like solo. It's kind of hard to yeah. see when it tangles up. So if you're doing this solo, you're going to come up. And then this is going to come right into here, just like you would for a technical stand-up. What I don't want to do is come here. I can't stand up from here. All right, so when you fall, you're going to come. So we can practice this here, just coming right into here. Just That's why you want to fall to the side. Here. Here. This leg is going to come inside, and I can come up right there. That's if I'm just coming up. So I'm going to step. All right. Um, up. So I'm coming up, I'm going to bring this in, bring this to the side, and come right up. Let's say I want to do an ankle lock, though, because it's actually a perfect spot for an ankle lock. So we're going to come up. We're going to come onto our lock right here. I got the ankle here. Now I'm going to back my hips up so I can lock up the ankle. All right? That's what this is. Remember we're watching TV relaxing? Back the hips up. The reason why I want you to stand your elbow is because the ankle's in here. So the, the way that you get an ankle lock is you bring your butt all the way back. That brings your lock to the bottom of the ankle. So this is what you want to practice, the ankle lock. I don't get the ankle lock and I want to bail on it, I can come right up into my sweep. All right, I'm going to show this again, a little detail. There's a lot in here, guys. But one, two, look, this comes on the inside, 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 boom, let's fall right here, pressure so she doesn't come in, this foot now comes on the inside, now watch my butt come back, feel that, so there's no ankle lock here, I need to bring my butt back, try for the ankle lock, that doesn't work, now I can come up, right into that. All right, I'm going to open it up for questions and then we can drill a little bit more. At what point are you grabbing for the heels? Okay, so I'm grabbing for the heels at the same time as the hips go up? That the hips are going to go up. Exactly. Okay. So it's kind of like you have to make this quick change. You go from grabbing two and you're on the hip and you're on the thing here you're grabbing it and then you got to make that change so 
I'm coming here. All right. So I'm here, and I got to go from here to here. So yeah, it, I'm going up at the same time I'm grabbing. Okay. Because if you if you if you go up without grabbing, right, you're not, you're not really knocking them over. And if you're down without pushing, right, they're not getting. Yeah, they're gonna come towards you. And my lock right here. So look, what locks my lock and is bringing my butt back. All right, she's tapping right there. Or now that my butt back it makes it easier to come up. All right. What else, guys? Good to yeah. see you, Brendan Haas. Yeah, man. I'm glad to be back. Uh, quick question on that ankle lock. Um, how are you controlling the distance from her hip uh, since your legs tuck under? Yeah, so I'm actually controlling the distance with my two legs and my arm. So I'll show you. As I, and that's the big thing for ankle lock is controlling the distance. So as I come in, first thing I do, if she comes up and grabs my gi, all right, then I'll have an ankle lock. So guess what I'm gonna do? I am gonna move back and start to block. This foot here, this foot here is gonna start to push here. So by the time I'm back, so I'm pushing with this foot and I have a hook on the inside here. So I'm hooked on the inside and I'm pushing here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, perfect. No, now I, now I see it. Now I see it. Yeah, so I'm hooked on the inside and I'm pushing here and I have my hand. If she tries to grab my knee, I'm blocking there. But by this time, I'm, all, I'm already back to the lock. So. No, that's good. <laughs> all right, so I'm controlling it with a hooked leg and I'm controlling it this on the inside. All right. Yeah, because I know you have those long arms and I try to ankle lock you. You just like reach over. Grab that gi, man. Hang on for dear life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so the chance if you're doing it right, you're going to back up and put the lock on before they get a chance to do that. Yeah. But you can also play with it. And as they start to reach for you, when they're up, guess what that does for you? That enables you to come right up. Sweep. Right? And just go for the sweep. Great. Questions, guys? So this is, I call it a Leandro Low Sweep. So if you ever want to see this in action, you can see this guy doing it, Landro. He does this a lot. It's a, uh, it's a spider guard sweep that Leandro Lowe used a lot. Um, and again, you're using the control of your legs against their arms, which makes it much stronger. Hi right, guys, other questions? All right, let's drill it a couple more times. If you're solo drilling, I want you to focus on doing it and going through in your mind on what each of these steps are, okay? I want you going through your mind and each of these steps are. One of the things that I would do when I was hurt or when I was fighting a match, I didn't have a lot of time. I always only could practice twice a week for most of my career. So to get go to bed at night, instead of thinking about my business, which made me not sleep, I would drill jujitsu moves in my head. And I would tell you, in my experience, that was just as good as drilling in person with another person. And it was actually more detailed because I had to think of where each placement was. So I was able to get two, uh, like another two sessions in just by doing it in my head. And I also, owning my own business, you're always thinking about work. So I was able to get that out of my head. And so that's, you know, if you're using your body and your mind right now, you can drill messy and not think about the details right now, or you can make a decision to really think through the details and that will give you a nice drill for what you're doing. So let's see it guys. Let's do like four or five repetitions of this all the way through. It's 
a lot there. Yeah, oh yeah, right? a lot of detail. That's a good move though. So good on bigger guys too. Oh yeah. There's a lot of small details that I didn't know about that move too. They fall off trees. Yeah. It's like chopping a tree down, guys. So, John, when you fall, I want you coming onto your side a little bit. Enough that you can put it on your elbow, okay? Everyone needs to fall up and come into their side. Remember that drill we did in the beginning. Think about watching TV, all right? Up and back. Up and back. Aaron, I want it higher, Aaron. Aaron, you're coming here. Up. All right. Explosive and high. Good. Yep. Oh, over. This is actually a nice move to draw on your own. You can and come up and come up. Or you can pop and come back for the ankle lock. Matt, same with you, more to the side. I like the correction at the end though. That was good. Let's see it, Daniel. Can I see you do it from the beginning, Daniel? Tom, you gotta watch out for that wood floor, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the um, 746. Nice, Eduardo. Good, nice, Tommy. Good come up. Good come up. Let's see if Arun's hips come up. Good, Arun. Nice. That's good. You also don't have to come right up, Arun. You can come sit back for the ankle as well. Sit right back for the ankle. Boom. Now I'm going to take my Walter Brandt, are you doing some downward dogs here, or we, you just have a bad haircut? Uh, no, nah, getting some work in. My wife said you've been training, you've been doing really good in the yoga, so. Yeah, three to four times. Trying yeah, to get it's it. great. It's great. Yeah, it's tough classes. Awesome. Yeah. Cool, man. I'm glad. Okay, guys, let's come in. We're, we'll finish up with some breathing. All right. So I want to go back to the. Wim Hof breathing, and for this, uh, but I want you guys to change the instead of breathing through your mouth, which Wim Hof teaches, I want to change it up and I want you to breathe through your nose. All right, so you can come to whatever position you want that's comfortable. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to push the limits in two directions we're going to push the limits in getting oxygen in, and then we're going to push. In, in the limits with oxygen by holding by holding our breath by holding the oxygen all right all right here we go okay we're going to breathe in and out through our nose about 30 times and then we're going to do a breath hold for about a minute and then we're going to hold for 30 seconds here we go in and out breathe out go with the flow of the breath if you can't go through your nose because it's stuffed, then go through your mouth. It's fine. In, out. In, out. In, out. Into the belly. Into the chest. 
chest and let go. Like a wing. Make it circular. Julian, letting go. No pause, it's Just top to the bottom. Go. No pause between inhalation and exhalation. Keep going. Ten more. Let it go. Keep going. Five more. Let's give it all we got. Go, Matt. And let go. Let it all out. All right. And hold. Minutes. Breath hold from now on. Be in this moment. Let the body do what the body is capable of doing. <laughs> Be aware of your heartbeat. Slow it down. And just be in this moment. Let that relaxation spread down to your toes, into your fingertips, to the base of your neck and head. You are almost there. Do you want to prolong your breath hold? Pause the video now and continue when you feel the urge to breathe. Okay, recovery breath in. Five, four, three, two. One, hold it top. Take a deep breath in and hold for 15 seconds. Exhale in three, two, one. Let it go. Round number two. Back into that rhythm. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out. In, out. In, out. In, out. Into the back. Good guy. Into the chest and let go. Keep going. Like a wave. Make it circular. Julian, letting go. Just keep on going. No pause between inhalation and exhalation. In with peace, out with stress. Ten more. Keep going. Let it go. Nice you got it. Deep circular breaths. Five more. Let's give it all we got. Last one. Julia. And on the exhale, and exhale. stop. One and a half and minutes. Hold. Breath hold from now on. Feel. Become aware of your body. If your hands and feet are tingling, or you feel your body temperature is changing, that's okay. You're doing fantastic. If 
you need to breathe before I give the cue, that's okay. You are almost there. Do you want to prolong your breath hold? Pause the video now and continue when you feel the urge to breathe. When you are ready, fully yes. Hold and breathe out. All right. So I just want to explain a little bit about what we did there. So the breath, the when you breathe quickly like that, it loads your body up with oxygen, over breathing. And then when you hold your breath, you deprive it from oxygen. So by going to those both ways, you are basically pushing the limits of both sides of your lungs. And it can put you into a pretty strong sense of relaxation once you give yourself more oxygen and then you deprive yourself of oxygen. Something to do with the levels of carbon dioxide to oxygen that has that happen. Um, it's another word for it's tumor breathing. And I didn't realize that there was, until I started studying this, there's so many different ways to breathe. I just thought there was one, really. Um, I want to share, I taped my mouth up the other night as an exercise. There's tape that you can get. It closes your mouth and it has you breathe through your nose. And my son and I both did it. He's 10. And I, I felt a big difference in the morning. Like just a huge sense of relaxation. I did it for a second night. I, did, I didn't feel as good the second night. But the first night was almost euphoric when I woke up. And it made me realize I was probably doing breathing through my mouth a lot at night. A little tape that you can get. So there's a book that, that started with me on all this. It's called Breathe by James Nestor. There's a podcast with Joe Rogan that I discovered later on with James Nestor. So you should check it out. I think some of you may already have that book. I think, did you get that book, Tommy? Did Walter get it? No, I don't have it, but I know what you're talking about. It. Okay. Before. Yeah, I'm familiar with uh, the oxygen advantage with Patrick, the Irish okay. guy. He does, nice. also does Tumo. Yeah, and, Patrick, uh, check your breathing. Yeah, protect. Hey guys, I've been in athletics my whole life, and until three months ago that I learned that there was a difference between mouth breathing and nose breathing. But ancient cultures have been promoting this in their youth for thousands of years. The Indians, specifically the American Indians, and also the Asians. Um, so, guys, second week of, of guard work. Um, and I just want to congratulate you guys for – for taking time out to calm your body, to use your body in different ways, to connect with, with us, with, with each other, all within an hour from your house, and also further your practice. And I don't want you guys to fall in the trap to think that you're, because you're not training your life, that you're not furthering your practice. You can further your practice in many ways, including doing yoga and breathing and studying jujitsu. So there's many ways to further your practice. And just because you're not doing it now doesn't mean you're not furthering it in a big way. I think I furthered my practice more in the two months that I didn't train than in the year and a half that I was training. And I furthered it by learning how to breathe. I'm now fighting again, and I'm doing it with very different breath work. And I, that would not have happened if I didn't stop training. So I want you guys to, if you have this mentality that this isn't enough, I want you to realize that, that that's not true. The only way that's true is if you let that be true. Okay. Um, so I want to thank Maris. She drives two hours down here to train with Yanni and us. It's great to have her. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. She just <laughs> said, Hey, no problem. I'll do it. And willing partner. And on my way up to the Adirondacks, she's on my stop. So yeah. <laughs> Come down. Stopping at the school. If anyone's in the Poughkeepsie area, come visit. <laughs> Poughkeepsie, New York. What's the name of the school? Precision Boxing and MMA. Precision Boxing and MMA. Cool. I got.